Hey guys, Taikino22 here, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to be, I guess, kind of showing off the VM Comics rig. And uh, this is the 2.66.1 Blender version, and that's currently what I am using. So as you can see, this is just regular Blender, just to show I'm not doing anything different. Um, <clears throat> so what you're going to do, excuse me, I'm kind of sick, is you're going to go into the link that I have provided in the description. And this is totally trustworthy. It came straight from them. You just click on that and download it. Now what it's going to do is it's going to bring, excuse me, it's going to bring up a set of books. Now, that's if you have WinRAR. It's going to just basically bring up a file for you to open. And you need like WinRAR or 7-Zip to open this. Then when you click on it, it's going to give you the little Blender logo. And it's going to say Minecraft Rig version 0.2. I'm going to put a picture of it and the deal for you because DX Story, my screen recorder, does not re record uh, like desktop recordings. So I can't show you guys exactly how to do this, but it's really simple. I'm sorry, I'm sick. So just anyway, so just download that and then uh, I guess I'll be right back with the actual file. Yeah. Alright guys, so now that you click on the file, it's going to open up Blender. Now, your guy's going to be extremely blurry, like if you zoom in right here, you can definitely see the blurriness and whatnot. And uh, I don't like that very much at all, and, and uh, some people might, some people not. So, uh, how to fix this is you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on File, User Preferences. Now, when you shoot up to the User Preferences, which is this screen right here, you're going to want to make sure... Well, that needs to be checked, but MIT maps need to be unchecked, and uh, that's just going to clear everything up. Now, to save you from having this problem in the future, go ahead and click Save User Settings, and you're done with that one. Now, as you can see, it's a nice clean cut. You can definitely see where, like, they've changed it on the, like, the grade. It kind of looks different and uh, whatnot. So now he's kind of ready to go. But you've been probably thinking, like, how exactly am I supposed to animate like his face and stuff? Because if I right click, uh, nothing happens. I mean, I can I can rotate his head, but that didn't look normal at all. Okay, so here's how you're gonna do this. You're gonna click in. Now, if you already have this popped up, that means you you don't need to click in. But to to get this screen, you need in. Now, enable to make sure that everything's enabled to see his face and how to rig it you have to make sure that you are not selected on anything like that you need to be in pose mode which is just down here um, I'm, it's, I'm gonna highlight it pose mode make sure it's not in object mode it's just in pose mode um, and uh, and that's after you click now you click in and you see this if you go down here to bone layers now this bone layers right here it's in the middle of the screen this is where you find the stuff to animate so if I click on face this nifty little thing over here pops up, and that's basically his face. Now, if you just click on the rest of this, it just kind of helps, and the eyes, which will keep them located in the same. All right, so if I go over here and uh, right-click, like usual, on your sis right eye. Now, pay attention down here, and I'm just going to kind of drag it over. Now, notice how his eye moved over. Okay, see, that's kind of cool. Let's say we wanted to move both eyes at once so let me just move that back you could just kind of click on these set of eyes right here you see these that look like glasses these will move both of his eyes and the way they're looking notice that the far left eye stops and it doesn't continue to go over once they reach that boundary they don't move anymore now let's say we want him to be a cross-eyed dude let's just have some fun with it make him a cross-eyed guy but we want the eyes to move together so like you can kind of tell where he's looking so what you're going to do is right click on the eyes now look he's cross-eyed but you can't really tell all that much look at that he's looking down cross-eyed up cross-eyed just regular cross-eyed it's it's just kind of cool you just mess with the stuff and you'll realize uh, how to do it now a lot of people were probably thinking when they when they first got this how in the world am I supposed to make him blink because if you click this, that's his eyebrow. Or no, that's that's the individual like lash itself. If I click that, it's the same thing. You're like, okay, that's really going to suck to make him blink like that. 
I mean, that's that's kind of a long way to make them blink for every animation. So if you right-click right here on this thing, and you drag that down, that just makes the whole set go down like that. And uh, so that's pretty nice. Now, as you can see, I mean, well, I noticed one thing. You can't edit the nose. You can't move the nose. It just stays. I mean, I tried to rotate it, but it doesn't really rotate either. Um, this, the mouth, if they're all the same color, they're pretty much in the same region. This is the mouth. If I pull it down like that, I can make him kind of look like Droopy, that dog, whatever. I don't, I don't really know um, exactly. So we, you can kind of see the, the wrinkles here. And um, let's make him smile. Because, or no, let's just make him frown. So if you right click on both of them and just bring him down a little bit, he's kind of frowning. He's upset. He's going to cry. Um, uh, anyway, that's pretty much the basics of animating the face. These are the eyebrows. And um, it's pretty easy to tell. You can kind of see that each part of this represents an aspect of his face. So, I mean, it's really just... It's really, I don't know what... I think this is... I don't know what that does. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it just moves it out of the way. Um, but yeah, pretty much if it's highlighted, you can move it ex ex with the exception of something. So, like, let's see his shoulder blade. This is going to move his shoulder and part of his, I guess, body like this. See, now it's like if you want him to bend down, you could like rotate the head like kind of down in that. Oh, but make sure you have everything selected, not just the head, because you'll lose your eyes. Now he's like a hero brine, halfway hero brine. But anyway, so you could do some crazy stuff with him and um, whatnot. And it's pretty much easy, self-explanatory on how to animate. And there's a lot of video tutorials that are a lot better than this one on how to animate. This is kind of just a brief run through of it. But also, first, you guys are like, okay, this is driving me nuts. No other video has shown me where in the heck do I get the animation bar to actually animate. Uh, well, what you got to do is you got to go up here. And you see the little three lines. You probably can't see my mouse. Um, I'm hovering over them. They're up here in the right corner above this bar. And uh, basically just drag that down to where you have two copies of the dude. Now, um, I'm just going to drag that down a little more. Now, you see down here in the... Whoa, there's another one. Okay, that was not what I wanted. Oh. Okay, well, you can see down here in the corner that it's got these little, uh, what do you call them, boxes. And it goes like 3D view, timeline, and all these other things. You want to click on timeline, and it gives you that. I don't, I didn't mean to do that, so let's see if they both move at the same time. Well, that's kind of cool anyway. Um, let's see, we can get a back side back view from this. There we go. That way now I know what it looks like from the back. But anyway, and then this is the animation bar, and uh, watch tutorials on how to animate. Um, I'm no good at it yet, so, um, but it's pretty simple from what I can tell. But yeah, guys, so that's how to do that. You don't have to do what I did here. I did that by accident. You can just drag that on down like that. But yeah, so that's kind of just, a, a, I guess, a brief kind of sum up of how to get everything ready to animate. Um, there's other videos around on animating. And uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day.